do this, but that's going to be possibly a little bit later when we see it in the Losers Final stream. Right now, coming up for your viewing pleasure, we have Rewind, uh, who is a, an EVO champion in Injustice 2, and he's going to be going up against up-and-comer uh, the Mighty Unjust. I didn't see who he actually won, but uh, on the, the second seat of this pool was Kevo Reborn, so I, I don't know Aaron if this is winner's won. finals or not. Yes, it is winner's finals, so Kevo Reborn did not get his way here. He's possibly in the lower bracket. Now, the Mighty Unjust is a Jersey boy. I'm very familiar with him. He From does your come, neck of the woods, yeah. Yes, he does come to all the locals that I do put on, and he's actually very, very grateful for them. He says, I, I love being part of a competitive scene. I never had this before because we didn't really have this for Injustice 2. And he, he's a great, great supporter. Him and his uh, twin brother that you actually saw. El Kukui, right? El Kukui, yeah. yes. That I is, was like, they look exactly the same. They are twin brothers, but they are not identical twins, believe it or not. Really? Yes, uh, they are. That's a fool me, man. Yeah, I, me too. I'm just like, there's no way you guys are not identical. Well, you know what? They're both putting on a really good showing this weekend. Yes. And now Rewind, he got 17th at ECT. Yes. Obviously not what he wanted, you know. He's at ninth in the pro competition with 670 points. Johnny that is Cage. not a comfortable position, especially moving yeah. into this weekend. Again, a lot of the upsets have helped these players that are still in. You know, Noob Jelly, Silence. Jelly Jiggler, formerly known as Tweety, is Silence. eliminated super Dungeon. early. Didn't even get 17th place. Nope. So there's zero points to be had on his end. Now Rewind is going to go ahead with, I believe I just saw Johnny Cage on the screen. Could be, could be. I wouldn't be surprised, but the Mighty Unjust does play a lot of characters. Uh, usually characterized as playing a lot of top tier characters. So I don't know which one of these guys are going with. Looks like it's Rewind from sitting on the player one side if these guys are doing it correctly. No, is this a... No, this is, Rewind is definitely playing Cage. Yeah. Unjust is going with seeing double Noob Saibot. Maybe he thinks it's a little bit of a counter pick. I can see how, because Noob Saibot plays so well in the mid range and full screen, Johnny still wants to be up close on you. Yes, great use of the interactable there from the mighty Unjust and Justice Boys, just getting right out of there, back into the mid screen and away from that corner pressure. Beautiful down to here by Rewind, connecting the throw afterwards. Gonna be tossing him a little bit farther away or possibly trying to go for the mix up there, Not going for the, the towards the corner throw. And uh, this is a uh, showstopper Johnny Cage. So he has, he doesn't have the arcing fireballs, but instead has the straight fireballs here. So very, very different from the Johnny Cages we've seen. I don't uh, know about early. that breaker, man. I'm gonna be really honest with you. I think that was a big mistake. I don't know if it was intentional, but now he needs to play really safe, not having breakaway for pretty much half of this round. Yeah, no, no, it's definitely gonna be tough because that breakaway cooldown is very, very oppressing. It comes back super, super slow. Great little low uh, amplified uh, shadow here from uh, the Mighty Unjust. And this is the mid range that Noob Saibot wants to play in. It's controlling that it's controlling that footsie range and then being able to come in with that forward two when you think it's the right time. Exactly, exactly here. And that's what we're seeing. Great throw escape here by the Mighty Unjust, knowing exactly which way Rewind was trying to, and again, calling it out perfectly. Uh, specifically teching against which direction the throws are, and that gets him the momentum he needed to just back Johnny Cage Fire off and finish him off Fire. with those low shadow And he's just locking Rewind down, right? Like, it, it's a little bit of the control at the mid-range, but even up close, he's doing a lot of mind games off the pokes with the low slide and everything else to follow. Down one's in the grabs when he's trying to condition Rewind, and it's all starting to pay off. Now, granted, being Showstopper Cage, when you hit that fatal blow territory, that's when it starts getting really scary. Oh, but yeah. Unjust, no doubt, especially that it's the third round, has that Shadow Tackle crushing blow, and that hurts. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Uh, third round usually is guaranteed for Noob, as long as it's not a, a very one-sided fight in any of the rounds. But, you know, another thing that's very scary about Johnny Cage is all the unbreakable damage he has access to in this variation. Taking his time. Nice patience by Rewind. This is a really close game right now. Rewind, nice little scout. No punish with the shadow kick on that back one grab. And now Unjust just starting to, just kind of starting to get overwhelmed by these little bits of strings, and that is no doubt going to close out the first game. Rewind, very smart. Yes, yeah, definitely a, a textbook play there. And the Mighty Unjust showing a lot of uncertainty uncertainty here with that body language, uh, especially or even just the in-game body Cage. language, going right into the Cyber fighter select, going to Aaron Black, which I believe was his original main back in May as soon as the game came out. 
but the Mighty Unjust has been known to play various different characters. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of his Cetrion. His Cetrion, I think, is one of his best characters. He is also very familiar with Gyrus. Pretty much any character he feels he needs to learn in order to win uh, all these different matchups across the board. But I feel like he might be spreading himself out too thinly here to get the results that he knows he deserves. That's a big whip punish there. You don't want to whip that whole thing against somebody. And Rewind was ready to just get up at the perfect time. I've always been the biggest advocate that, you know, when in doubt, just stick with your guns. Even though the matchup might not be the most favorable, especially, you know, Aaron Black against Johnny, I've heard is not the greatest, but you have that comfortability that you've had by playing the character for so long. I wouldn't ex I wouldn't be surprised if we see Unjust take us to a game three, but whipping a down three against Rewind is not the way to do it. Forcing himself off of that defensive meter, and now this is just what Cage is known to do. Plus frames across the board, striker grab. Oh, great jump in, especially, and look at that recognition there, unfortunately. Whoa, hold on, no, didn't get there in time for the punish, and Rewind was ready to block. What a little scramble there at the end. I mean, I thought it was a great call out from the Mighty Unjust, knowing that the breakaway was coming, throwing down the acid for the DOT afterwards, but Rewind played it perfectly after that. And then even now, you see him going for a lot of down fours and trying to, Pretty much trying to auto ship him with Aaron Black's 2-1 string. Rewind has, honestly, some of the best defense in the game. You rarely see him get opened up by shimmies. Great reaction there with that shadow kick, punishing that acid drop here from Aaron Black. A lot of them just like to drop that acid all willy-nilly like that, but you can't do that against a caliber player like Rewind. Oh, unfortunate drop there with the standing two. That could have done a lot of damage, but honestly, he has such a comfortable life lead. The corner positioning, nice grab tech by Unjust, but this most certainly will be curtains for Unjust on the winner's side. And Rewind making quick work, and we'll be seeing him in the top 16 winners as Unjust continues to fight for his tournament life. Yes, yes, Rewind making it out of uh, D3 pools. Uh, Scar making it out of uh, D4 pools with that crazy fatal blow play.